What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Nin explains the rules of Calcio Storico, Calcio Fiorentino. See, I hope that's how you say it. You guys wanted me to react to this, so I'm jumping into it. Uh, we reacted to Cheese Rolling, which is absolutely hilarious. Uh, we reacted to After Stone Ball Gang, absolutely dangerous. Like, that many people trying to attack you at one time is scary. Now we're reacting to the, this game. Like, I'm loving these these European overseas games like that I've never heard of. And I hope you guys keep sending them in. Uh, but before we jump into this, what I need you guys to do is smash that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. Get a video a thumbs up so I get suggested. Social media, Patreon, all up top. You can subscribe to any of it. Put all the links in the description. All you got to do is hit the link. Follow me. Talk to me. Chill in. I talk back. If you got a favorite video, suggest you can subscribe to Patreon or in the description section of the Google Form link. What we got? Nin explains the rules of Calcio Storico. Storico. The object of the game is to score more goals or catcher than the other team. Calcio Storico, otherwise known as Calcio Florentino, oh, is an. Oh, no, I'll get this man an NFL contract. Oh, my boy, hey, hey, my boy, shaking and baking. No, 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 nobody touching this man. All right, keep it going, my bad. Calcio Storico, otherwise known as Calcio Fiorentino, is an Italian sport that's played between two teams of 27 and played on a rectangular sand and dirt field that measures 80 meters long and 40 meters wide. There are nets at each end of the field and span the whole width of the playing area. Jeez. To score, all you have to do is push or kick the ball into the other team's net. If you successfully push or kick the ball into the net, this is a catcher and this scores one goal. And to get the ball into the net, you can move the ball by almost any means necessary. That's right, if you haven't already noticed, you are allowed to punch your opponent, oh no! kick your opponent, tackle, wrestle, and you can even headbutt and choke them if you want to. It's perfectly legal and pretty much anything goes. Think My lord, bro, when he say any means necessary, he, he literally means any means necessary. We punching, tackling, kicking, choking, anything goes. Whatever you got to do to stop them, stop them. You feel me? Oh, this is MMA mixed with soccer. Mix, well, well, MMA mixed with football. This is crazy. It's perfectly legal and pretty much anything goes. Think football, mixed with rugby, mixed with mixed martial arts, and Millwall fans, and you get this game. <laughs> As mentioned before, there are 27 players on each team. They consist of four goalkeepers, three oh, fullbacks, wow. five halfbacks, and 15 forwards. God, the strategy of the game is for the forwards of the team to injure, incapacitate, or tire out the opposing team, while the backs run with the ball and try and score. There are no substitutes in this game, once you're done, you're pretty much done. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Ain't gonna be no seven. Hey, hey, don't nobody win until one team is incapacitated. That's how we know. That's when we gotta stop the game. When we incapacitate one team, game's over. Ain't gonna be no seven. If you can't play no more, get your butt off the field. You can't play. You can't participate. Oh okay. my god. Once bro. you're done, you're pretty much done. Whoa, Nin. That's mad! Um, yep. Calcio Storico is Italy's version of medieval or mob football, and wow, was their Lord. original version of football before soccer was invented. Once a catcher has been scored, both teams change ends. The game is played in just one period of 50 minutes. The team with the high score at the end of time wins. No. That's basically all you'll need to know about Calcio Storico. That stiff arm was but there's a few Look other things that you'll need oh! to know before playing or watching this game. For example, half catcher. One of the few rules in the game is that the ball cannot go over the net. If you shoot the ball and it goes over, the other team is awarded half a catcher or half a goal. The oh, players. I like there that. are no professional players of Calcio Storico. If you want to play, you have to be a volunteer. I should also mention that players play the game knowing full well that they will probably leave the game injured and sometimes worse. Things you cannot do. No professional players, so do the volunteers, do y'all get, do they get paid to play this game? Or are they just going out there playing like, 
because they want to knock someone's head off. They got they got some pent up aggression that needs to be released, and it's the perfect game for it. I guess you couldn't have you couldn't pay professional you couldn't do professional games because the risk of injury would be way too high. Like you can't pay you can't pay somebody contracts because you don't know if they're gonna make it out of a game. So it gotta be volunteer. It makes sense. That makes sense. They will probably leave the game injured and sometimes worse. Things you cannot do. There's only a few things you cannot do oh, in Couch Historico. Namely, kicks to the head, especially oh. if they're on the floor. And it's also illegal for more than one player to attack an opponent. Oh. Doing these things will automatically get you ejected from the game. If you like this video, please comment, rate and subscribe. It takes yeah, me ages like to make one of these things and good karma is very much appreciated. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Reddit also, but in the meantime, enjoy Couch Historico. If you're brave enough to play it, that is. Oh my, nah, I ain't never gonna be brave enough to play that. I ain't, I... Never, never would sign up for that. That's crazy. They're signing up to, to get injured. You're basically signing, because my lord, my lord. That that game is dangerous. That game is scary. But know what I'm saying? What do you, mid medieval football, rugby, MMA, all of that into one. That, that's what this is uh and it seems like they they got a big crowd so it seems like the, the people love it so that's all we got for this one you guys got a favorite video uh you want to see me react to you can subscribe to patreon or in the description section there's a google form link hit the link fill out your suggestions send it to me if you want me to get to yours faster fill out premium make sure you hit subscribe to the channel ring notification bell give the video a thumbs up so we get suggested social media and patreon all up top you don't subscribe to any of it put all the links in the description all you gotta do is hit the link follow me talk to me Love talking to you guys. You guys are the most incredible team on YouTube. It's your boy D Nia. Out.